In wartime, air bases like Talthorpe near York, England, were common sites across the British Isles. Carl invites Tony Little, a tail gunner with RCAF 420 Squadron, to recount his memories of his last bombing mission. His Halifax was shot down over Germany. Five crew members, including Tony, became prisoners of war, while two did not survive. Well, uh, Tony, here we are on the runway. Geez, uh, I'm looking out here, and what, what have we got? About 2,000 feet left of the old runway. And how long was it? Well, from end to end, it was approximately 5,000 feet. You have the start of the runway, and they had chopped about 26 meters off the end of there. Yes. And now you go right down, but for the whole thing was approximately 5,000 feet. We've got about three aircraft at a time. Yeah. And that's the most that you got really with power. Oh, on. I see. You had one guy lifting off the end, one guy in the middle, and then the other fellow just lining up, and he'd just be waiting, and as soon as things uh, seemed to be clear, he would breaks off, well, throttles uh, going on first, breaks off, and as he increased the speed going down the runway, more power, more power, until he got down to about here, and at that time, to full power, they went through the gate hmm. and then took off. Man, I'll tell you, I just wish I could, I wish somebody would have recorded that, because to me, that's the sheer power, you know, just, just that, that, like you say, the thunder. Yes. And that's Canadian thunder. That's it, that's it. But you have all these other people idling in the background, and they themselves have got their own orchestration. But each of these aircraft taking off, and it would depend on what the occasion was, what the target. Mm -hmm. These people have 4,000-pounders, uh, 500-pound pound bombs. They have 250-pound bombs. And they have incendiary clusters. And again, that depended on the, the, uh, what the uh, target was. After we were shot down, there was an incident, and um, it was either February or March of 1945, where a number of aircraft from this station were involved in flying accidents. Um, one such accident was right over York. Um, as I was not here to watch it, I have to believe in what I was told at that time, uh, about that time. And apparently the guy bailed out of the rear turret and the aircraft hit the ground just before uh, he, got he, clear. he got clear and his parachute was uh, partially open and at the precise moment that a aircraft hit the ground it exploded still with him dangling on the end of this um, uh, partially open parachute yes. and it blew him back up high enough that the parachute opened and he floated down and he lived now i don't know the chap's name but that was um, the report that we got um, as one of the guys that was very lucky that day. But it certainly is a big change. Very little parts of the runway are still here. Uh, the mess halls and living quarters are all gone. And um, perhaps one of the nice things about it all is instead of uh, an entry into war as any airfield was, we have all these peaceful fields. Yeah. But freedom freedom doesn't come without the sacrifice of some. What do you feel like right now? You, you, this is the place of your... This is the high point of your combat years to be at Thalthorpe. And how do you feel about it now? What is it? Do, 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 do you feel proud? Do you, you know? Yes, I do. I feel proud. And I feel that uh, in some ways that I'm here not by myself. I'm here with seven crew members. And I, I like to think that the two that were killed that night um, are sort of looking down and approving of what we're doing. Yeah, I, I can definitely agree You're with that. You're sort of walking on hallowed ground.